Good evening guys, welcome back to the Blue Ridge Silverhound Power Hour. I don't know exactly what that means, but anyway, anyways, as always, you're here for one reason, and we're going to talk up some coins. Coins that you could find in circulation today that's worth money. The highlight of this video is going to be the 1988 Lincoln Pennies, alright? Uh, you know, this is a perennial favorite to a lot of uh, cherry pickers out there. But not a lot of the regular collectors know that there is a lot going on with the state that you could, you know, potentially find and make money off of. Okay, it's incredible. But before we get started, as always, i got to throw in my usual in here. If you haven't done so, sh share, subscribe, hit the bell for instant notifications so that way you could get, uh, you know, the, uh, the updates on your phone when uh, a new Blue Ridge Silverhound video is uploaded. And why is that important? Well, I'm going to be doing giveaways all summer long. You'll want to stay tuned. If you want to win a few pretty neat items like silver and coins and gift cards, hang tight because uh, I'm giving back to the community, to the subscribers and patrons. I want to thank everyone again for the views and the support through all these years. So let's go ahead and jump right on in to the first coin that we're going to talk about here today and it's you know that's the 1988 uh p this is the philadelphia minted coin that we're dealing with here and this is a coin that i would say is pretty pretty well available if you want it to be um typically if you're going through you know coins and coin roll hunting pocket change more than likely you're going to find either a 1988 p or a 1988 d which is a denver minted example now you'll you could tell a philadelphia coin because there's no letter p uh under the date okay traditionally this would be the spot where you would see the mint mark of where these things were produced the 1988 p again it's widely available uh, the mint produced 6,092,810,000 pieces. So there is absolutely no shortage of this coin. Okay, where it gets challenging are the different varieties and errors that you could find in this particular date. All right, so it's pretty interesting. So let's, let's talk a little bit about um, uh, some of the things that a lot of people like, and that's grade. All right, so if you were to send this to a third-party grader at the highest possible level, you know, um, something that looks like it was struck yesterday, came right out of the mint, looks brand new, the top grade by PCGS, which is a third-party grader, is Mint State 68 Red, in which there are 29 examples at this grade. There are none finer. There's no 69s, so there's no 70s. Um, I can tell you this right now. Uh, because there are 29 examples of the 68, it is a uh, generally very available coin to have at this grade level. And because of that, it keeps the prices relatively low on them. Um, the highest reported sale of a 1988p, a Philly coin, is $881.25 in a Mid-State 68 through Heritage Auctions September 6th. 2014 all right so that's worth mentioning so let's go ahead and take a look at the denver minted coin on this one you'll see that there's a tiny little letter d under the date okay and that's how you'll differentiate the denver from the philly philadelphia won't have a mint mark the denver will have a mint mark in the form of a letter d uh, again just like the philadelphia minted coin there is no shortage five billion two hundred and fifty three million 740,443 total pieces were made. So there are a lot of these to go around. Um, quite a few of them were saved in mint state. So you don't have to worry about, you know, paying such ridiculously huge, huge premiums for uh, full rolls or bags. I mean, you'll pay a premium because it is an older date, but not as much as say like a 1995 or, you know, like a, a some of the other dates with bigger varieties that you could find in them 69s uh 72 you know just to name a few in terms of grade uh the highest grade that pcgs has ever assigned to a 1988d is mint state 69 red that's huge that's a huge huge grade right there there is only one example in a 69 uh and just to give you an idea of 
what the relative pricing is for a 69 uh, if this one individual did sell this coin. PCGS has a price guide value of $4,500 on this particular coin in 69. Uh, the last or the highest reported Mint State 68 grade was on Heritage Auctions back, back in November 6, 2007 in the amount of $1,495. And it's going to stay that way until that next Mint State 69 comes up or if that one singular night mint state 69 goes to sale um you know it'll fetch a ton of money but the denver minted coin is worth a little bit more there's less of them in the market and it's a tremendous coin if you're into grading for um top pops for top population registry set type of coins so there are a few um, varieties that you need to know about. Okay, the biggest one on both the 1988P and the Denver Minted Coin is going to be the Transitional Reverse. Okay, and I get a lot of questions about this. What? How can you tell if you have a Transitional Reverse variety? Okay, so what I did was I superimposed a normal coin and a transitional reverse coin and the details is going to be in the um initials on the reverse all right so frank gasparo's initials on the reverse you'll see the two different variants if you look closely at the regular normal um initials you'll see that there's no um uh, th there's no downward bar in the g uh the letters are a little bit more skinnier take a look at the transitional reverse um uh, attribution here and you'll see that the g has uh, not only a crossbar but it's got a down bar as well and that's how you're going to tell the difference between the two okay so how much are we talking about here in terms of price if you're able to find one just out of circulation it doesn't look fancy you know it's got a nice look to it um, probably grades out maybe vf or xf well, I'm happy to say this is a coin that sells somewhere in the $25 to $50 range right out of the box uh, circulated. Okay, you don't have to send this out for grading because it's a very identifiable variety. All right, you will be able to sell this very easily on sites like eBay or maybe on a, um, a forum chat page, Buy, Sell, Trade Group. Um, the pricing is similar in both the Philly and Denver Minted coins. Uh, some would say it's a little bit tougher to find the transitional reverse on the Philadelphia minted coins, but there is no refutable facts to back that up. Um, if you're able to find one that is in superb high grade, you send it off to a grader, it comes back like Mint State 66 or 67. Now you're talking about a coin that's worth hundreds of dollars as opposed to just 25 to 50. So it's definitely worth noting the higher the grade, the more this coin is worth. And I wanted to also talk about probably one of the rarest Lincoln Penny varieties that exists out there. Some of you are familiar with the doubled ear variety of 1984. It's very well known. It's It kind of sticks out there. It's very noticeable even to the naked eye. The 1988 doubled die obverse, okay, which is also classified as FS101, is the rarest doubled ear variety in the entire Lincoln Scent series going all the way back to 1909. There's nothing else more rare. There was only one example known that was graded through PCGS as a Mint State 63 Brown. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of them out there. As a matter of fact, if you looked at this image, it's kind of hard to tell what that doubled ear looked like. But you could see just a southern spread of that earlobe on this image where you see those arrow arrows i can't possibly tell you how much this coin is going to be worth but it would probably rival somewhere in the neighborhood of um of a 1982 zinc double die reverse lincoln scent uh the small day variety that one sells for like three to five thousand dollars i feel like that this one is somewhere around there but there hasn't been any recorded sale so those are the two albeit three main varieties that you'll want to keep an eye out for in the Lincoln Scent 1988 date. Um, again, they sell really easily. If you find them, they're valuable. Uh, so do not overlook those. 
So let's go ahead and uh, wrap it off with um, three phenomenal looking errors. Okay, and they all range in price. The first one that we have right here is going to be a 1988P. Um, let's see, this one is an obverse indent. This one graded NGC Mint State 62 red brown. And the way that what happened with this coin is the coin was struck, but it also had a second planchet or foreign material on overlapping the coin. So it was struck, you have two coins that will have an indent. It's a pretty phenomenal looking error, um, but it's not, it's not super rare. Okay. This example here is sold on great collections back April 28th of 2019, a few months ago for only $19 and 27 cents. Indent coins are available out there in the marketplace and they do have a value. In this case, you probably didn't need to send it off to a grader because it speaks for itself. All right, so that's the obvious indent right there. The next coin that we have here is going to be another 1988P, a Philly minted example. Only this one is uh, struck 35% off center and you have a full date on here. This is a nice coin. This one graded PCGS, Mint State 64, full red. And this one sold also on Great Collections January 7th of 2018 for $24.02. Again, this is a coin that has value, uh, but because it is a later date zinc off-center error, um, they're also very plentiful, but this is a nice coin nonetheless. And finally, let's go ahead and end it off on the big dog of this whole shebang here. And we have a 1988 uh, double denomination error. So it was a Lincoln cent that was struck on a uh, Roosevelt dime that was also already struck with the same date, 1988. Uh, this one graded PCGS Mint State 68, and this is actually a, a personal collection piece by a gentleman um, by the name of Bill Favaz, who is one of the main contributors of the Cherry Picker's Guide book. Um, you know, uh, he's, he's one of the guys out there that has um, put together the variety community um you know in a big way and that's why we search through coins is to find those big varieties and to find those big errors and make money off of them this one's also sold on great collections for 1540 dollars it's a big dollar coin and it sold september 7th 2014. so ladies and gentlemen that concludes the 1988 lincoln pennies uh topic all right what's it worth well it's worth a ton of money in high grades and if you have varieties and errors so definitely keep an eye out on any one of these pieces that you saw in this video today would love to hear your comments feel free to share and subscribe hit the bell for instant notifications again i'm your host sean with blue ridge silverhound thank you so much for joining in on this one and as always we're all hunting and discovering together you guys take care and good luck in the search